We learned how to interact with our DigitalOcean account via the dashboard and the API. A third way developers can interact with their account is via Doctal. Doctal is the official DigitalOcean command line interface, or CLI. Doctal allows you to interact with the DigitalOcean API via the command line. It supports most functionality found in the control panel. You can create, modify, and destroy DigitalOcean resources like droplets, Kubernetes clusters, managed databases, and more. Doctal is available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and there are various ways to install it. Since I'm on a Windows machine, I will download the executable, extract it, and add it to my path. So I'll go into the releases, get the latest release on Windows. Once the download is complete, I'm going to extract it. And I will take the executable and move it to a code section of my uh, file system. So we'll create a new folder called Doctal. Paste it in here, and then we'll add that path to our environment variables. So environment variables, path, and we will add a new one, which is going to be C code doctal. Once our install is complete, we can verify that Doctal was successfully installed by opening up a terminal window and running Doctal version. And if we get a version displayed, we are good to go. To work with Doctal, we'll first need to authenticate. This follows a similar process as working with the DigitalOcean API. We'll need to get our personal access token, either by creating a new one or using an existing one. I'll create a new one for our purposes here. So we'll go into the API, generate a new token, call it Doctal, and generate the token, copy it, and go back into our terminal. When we have our token, we'll run the Doctal auth init command, and it is going to ask us for that access token. So I will paste it in here and hit enter. It's going to validate the token, and if we get an OK message, it means that we are good to go. We're authenticated and can make uh, use of the Doctal CLI tool. With Doctal, you can view, create, configure, or destroy resources just like you would with the API or dashboard. Let's see how this works. We'll first display our currently dis deployed databases by running Doctal databases list. It's going to show all of the current managed databases that we have running on our account. And as you can see, I have a couple of MongoDB databases, a MySQL database, Postgres, and then more MySQL and Mongo databases. Next, let's create a new MySQL managed database from Doctal by running Doctal databases create, and we'll give it a name of MySQL from Doctal and we'll pass in the engine flag and the value of MySQL. Now you can check the Doctal reference for additional flags and additional information, but here you'll see when we execute this command, we will be creating a new MySQL uh, managed database. And if we go into our dashboard in databases, we'll see that that new MySQL database is being created, MySQL from Doctal, and since we just passed the default, information, it created a database with one gigabyte of RAM, one virtual CPU, 10 gigabytes of disk, and we did specify that MySQL is the engine that we want to use. Another benefit of using Doctal is being able to easily work with DigitalOcean's functions serverless product. Doctal allows you to easily create, deploy, and manage your functions via the CLI. Now, whether you're using Doctal, the DigitalOcean API, or the DigitalOcean dashboard to manage your resources, your infrastructure and resources deployed are always displayed in the control panel, allowing you to keep tabs on your active deployments. I hope that this walkthrough has helped familiarize you with how you can interact with DigitalOcean.